Hi everyone, so the objectives of this video are to continue determining some different forms of corrosion and again consider their preventative method. So this is a part two. In the first video we looked at the first half of our corrosive methods and now we're going to look at some other corrosive methods. Okay, so the first we're going to consider is intergranular corrosion. So this is a corrosion which occurs at the grain boundaries. So the grain boundaries under specific conditions can become more susceptible to corrosion. So we can tend to, in specific um, conditions, uh, depending on heat, the material, this particularly happens with stainless steels. At a microscopic level, the grain boundaries um, tend to form precipitates, which can become more corrosive than the rest of the actual grain. So this occurs, as I said, due to precipitates forming at the grain boundaries, which are less corrosive resistant. So remember, this is at a microscopic level, so we can't really see it just with the bare eye and a picture. Um, this is a microscopic level of corrosion. So what are preventions? Well, what we can do is we can subject the material to a really high temperature, and this will dissolve the precipitates that have formed. Okay, so that's our main method for protecting or preventing corrosion occurring at the grain boundary, so intergranular corrosion. Okay, so let's look at something a bit larger scale. We call this one leaching and occurs specifically in solid solutions when the one element is more susceptible to corrosion than the other element. So just to remind you, a solid solution is when we have a mix of two or more different elements, um, but